Okay, we'll have a moment of silent meditation and pledge to the flag. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I want to call this meeting of the Montegate County Commission to order. Let the record reflect that all three commissioners are present. We'll start off with the agenda with uh, consent and approval with our county administrator, Renetta McClure. Morning, Renetta. Morning. Here we have eight exonerations for $1,494.90. Minutes for March 10th, 2021. Vouchers General County Fund, 120,000, 550,59. Cole Severance, 49,14. 911, 12,765, 43. Camp Muffley, 2,346,27. Mason Dixon Park, 742,89. Transportation Levy, 417,811,67. Library Levy, 102,533,26. Assessor's Valuation, 4,409,70. Purchasing guard vouchers, general county fund, 27,667.19. Magistrate court, 6735. 911-8361.50. Camp Muffley, 683.05. Uh, Mason Nixon Park, a uh, credit of $5.39. Assessor's valuation, 392.06. For voucher total of 698,394.71. We have position vacancies for boards and authorities that will be listed on our website. Fiduciary orders for March 17th, 2021. Uh, motion to approve the consent of move. Second. Okay, we have a first and second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Okay, we have a separate fiduciary item. Uh, you also have an objection to creditor claims in the estate of David D. Harshberger. Move that we refer to a fiduciary agent. Okay, we have a first. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, we'll refer to fiduciary commissioner. All right, next item on the agenda is introduction of new employees personnel changes. Hi, I'm Good Stephanie morning. Penley. And on behalf of the county clerk's uh, office at Carrie Blaney's office, it's my pleasure to introduce the following new employees. We have Scott Isles and Priscilla Patton. Um, they've both been hired as full-time non-exempt employees. Priscilla's start date was March 15th and Scott was March 16th, 2021. Okay. Are, are these replacement yeah. positions? Yes. Okay. Thank okay. you. Move for approval. Second. Okay, I have a first and second. All those in favor say hi. Aye. Aye. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. I like you wearing green. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm looking for approval to rehire my seasonal part-time employees. This will be their fourth summer working for me at Mason Dixon Park. Um, Donald Tennant and, and Jamison are looking for a salary of eleven dollars per hour. Okay. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you very much. You have please a pass on. They have done an exceptional job. We get a lot of comments about the maintenance and your park, and I please pass that on to them too. I, I certainly will. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you, you too. Okay, we have is Misty here? Uh, no, she's not. Um, she is asking for permission to approve Melissa McKnight, uh, part time seasonal maintenance at ten dollars an hour. And Donald Hall, also part-time maintenance, uh, part-time seasonal maintenance for ten dollars an hour. Okay. Nice. Move to approve. Yeah. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Tires are approved. Do we have any other personnel changes? No. Okay. Comments from the public. We now we'll open the meeting for comments from the public. Do we have anybody that would like to speak? <laughs> Okay. Seeing none, we'll close comments for the public. 
Opening of submittals in response to request for proposal 2021 MCC 001 to achieve a Montlegate County Comprehensive Strategic Broadband Plan. Renetta, I believe you have the responses there. How many? Yep. I think, I think we have a total of nine. Oh, great. <laughs> I just want to take this one and pass it down. We'll oh, sure. sure. These equally. Thanks. For each. <laughs> yeah. okay. Oh, it must be 10. Well, that one's, this is, they've got it in two separate Yeah, but I got four. Oh, okay. So there's 10. Okay, when you guys open these, I just asked that you open there, it should be uh, a separate cost and technical uh, section. So uh, verify that and we'll just uh, read the names into the records. Four copies of the same. Okay, sure there's not another one. Ah, oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Glad I didn't. The first one is from Finley, F I N L E Y, Engineering Company Incorporated, Lamar, Emma, Missouri. The, and that's been accepted, and they have both. There's technical in cost. Yes, they are both. MO is Missouri, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is apparently the cost proposal. Keep this up right now. Second one is Design 9 Broadband Planners um, out of Blacksburg, Virginia. Andrew Cohill is the contact person. There is the cost and the proposal. Uh, this one, we are supposed to open up this one yet. Oh, okay. Cost proposals aren't to be open. Oh, sir. Yeah, don't open up the cost proposal. Okay, gotcha. You can leave the envelope, I got you. There's an empty envelope in here. Okay. Next one is uh, from Magellan, M-A-G-E-L-L-A-N Advisors, Denver, Colorado. And they have both. Okay. Next is Entry Point Networks, Salt Lake City, Utah, and they have both. Oh, lost. I'm not opening them. I get to see the address. They have both, and it's Tilson, T I L S O N. What is it, I'm sorry? T T I L S O N. But I don't know where they're. Apologize. Oh, Portland, Maine. And they have both. Southside Capital, LLC, Columbus, Ohio. Cost and then the proposal. Yes. Okay. This is Col Columbia Telecommunications Corporation, Kensington, Maryland, and it has both.
HR Green Inc., Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And we've got uh, uh, Foster Cove. This is DLZ from Akron, Ohio. DLZ, Ohio Incorporated. And they have both. Okay. Oh, thanks. Okay. okay. I have Thompson and Litton, L I T T O N, from Princeton, West Virginia, and they have both. All right. Is that 10? It's 11. It's 11. Okay. <laughs> So it's 11? So, yes. Okay. That's great. Well, that's great response. Um, Move so that we, we accept them and then refer them to evaluation. Second. Second. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. And yeah, for the process, uh, these will go on to a technical evaluation. Right. The technical evaluation committee met yesterday to work on the forms and uh, discuss the dates for uh, having the tech evaluations done by. Uh, we're shooting to have them done by the April 2nd. Uh, then if we need to have orals, we'll have orals on April 9th. So that's the next step, is to go ahead and do the technical evaluation, and that at a later date, the class, evaluate, the class proposal right. will be opened up. Okay. So thanks to everybody that participated, and I do have some of the Mike Fortney and Eric Carlson are here from the committee. Um, so. A busy Jeff, Jeff is. I'm sorry, Jeff. Okay, well, you can't, can't see, see with the pose. pillar. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a busy couple of weeks for us, but uh, looking forward to uh, moving forward. And just for the public's knowledge, the, po the proposal review committee is Mike Fortney, Ron Lytle from the Board of Education, Bill Austin from the MMPO, Andrew Gaspar uh, Bray, our county planner, Eric Carlson from Morgantown Area Partnership, Jeff Welsh, our county IT director and myself. So, and there may be one more participant. Uh, and, and, our and our citizen participant was holding out to see how many, if he could fit it in, oh. depending on how many proposals. So he may or may not participate, so. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just want to compliment the committee and the group and Sean, you're doing this because we're way ahead of everyone else. With the funding coming out and talking to both senators, they were very pleased that we have already sent out an RFP and are way ahead of the process. So I'm looking forward to hopefully some of that federal funds will also come this way too. Okay. Great. Nice. Next item on the agenda is uh, grants. Colleen Kuhn. Morning. Morning. Um, I have a request for reimbursement. This is the SEEP grant for the Day Report Center in the amount of $3,677.77. And then I also have um, the grant contract agreement for the Records Management and Preservation Board grant that um, the County Clerk's Office received that you just need to sign. Mm -hmm. have a motion. So move. Second. Okay, we have first and second to approve. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, motion's approved. All right, correspondence. I have none. We have no correspondence. Tom, do you have nope. any correspondence you'd like to read in the record? Jeff? No. Okay. Moving along, uh, unfinished business. Nothing? Okay. New business. To consider approving an order amending the boundaries of the city of Westover as proposed in a petition for annexation without election, those certain parcels of real estate as particularly described in the plat and description as received by the county commission on March 10th, 2021. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. second. Okay, we have a first and a second. Any discussion? I think it's very clear, and I want to thank Westover. Um, I think we all got the system right this time because we had all the information and exactly what we were needed, and it's a very simple process because they came through, and we appreciate that. We'll figure out how to do it one of these days. <laughs> Mayor Johnson, would you like to say anything? Or? No, I appreciate, appreciate you guys' effort. Okay. Um, it is described as Grant District Map 3A, Parcel 37. It's one single par parcel. Okay. Thank you. We do have the order Correct. that's yes. ready to sign. Okay, so the motion was to approve the order as presented. Uh, we have a first and second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, motion passes unanimously.
request by Main Street Morgantown for use of Courthouse Square. For the motion, so moved. Second. Okay. Uh, the dates are 410, 58, 612, 710, 814, 911, and 109. And I believe those are for art walks, which they're going to perform Great. on the Courthouse Square. Um, we have a first and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Motion passes unanimously. Do we have any other new business? No. Okay. Reports from elected officials and or department supervisors. Do, do we have anybody who would like to report? Okay. Reports from county commissioners. Tom? Yeah, first, this has been a, this is going to be a very busy week besides the budget hearings. Uh, Monday, both Jeff and I participated in the team court meeting and I think after two years, it's probably been our best meeting and I want to give credit to Skylar Johnson, who's the president. Um, we came up with some ideas, some programs, and she even, uh, we learned of a, a nonprofit called Child Law that are now has an office opposite the courthouse that they are very interested in getting involved with it and, and running it correctly. And they also came from Mercer County, which is where the hubbub has been from team court. So I just thought that went really well and, and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, tonight, I have a meeting with Region 6 and then um, we have several other meetings this week. Uh, the only other issue I do want to bring up is, oh, we have the food giveaway at Black Bear uh, parking lot stadium, 11 to 1 on Saturday. and. Just for your information, uh, I know we were meeting with DOH. We, I gave a list of general questions of what we were interested in, everything from uh, uh, River Road to uh, the concerns we're having out on the Western End and how that department is being staffed and answering questions. So we're trying to get more clarification on that. I will say that I'm a little bit shocked. I, for two weeks I've asked for roads. I've only received 20 roads, so I will submit those 20. And yeah. that's it. And that's, you're submitting that to uh, Dave McCormick. Dave McCormick, who requested. Maintenance supervisor. Yes. Would you ask, a, I had sure. somebody ask me a question, okay. and I think it's a valid question. If you notice by exit 155, they seem to be putting up a sign. I mean, it's right there where the damaged part of the bridge is. Oh, really? They're putting up like a big sign, which seems to me if they're going to be redoing that whole thing. Okay. Are they, are they sure they should be moving ahead unless that's that's not going to be in a way of the realignment? Mm -hmm. You would I think mean, they'd it, have to work around it, yeah. It's a pretty substantial st structure. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you may want to I will ask, ask, that. ask that question. Okay. So I can now say I've passed that question. Okay, before. I'll add that to the list. I didn't, I didn't know what it was, but when I wrote by, I'm like, yeah, that's a really good question. Why are they putting that up Yeah. if they're going to be And if you have other roads, we'll just add to them. But I'll, I'll submit them by Friday, the 20 roads, just so they have them and put them in now. I want it real clear. That doesn't mean they're going to be fixed. It means that they're now going to be looked at and put into the system. And I just want that real clear. <laughs> Well, they're always looked at, but they'll be yes. they'll they'll focus on those yes. because those are the ones uh, that we request are raising questions about. Okay, thank you. Okay, Jeff. Just a weekly update on the Camp Muffley Pool project. Did uh, Carlos or um, Goss sent us some photos of the demolition is complete on the bathhouses, and uh, it looks like the the pool is pretty well scraped out as they need to to prepare it for the application of the. Um, of the new pool so it looks like it's going on schedule so far it's pretty neat if you get a chance to drive out there and yeah. see a big hole in the ground <laughs> but uh, that's all i've got okay thank you uh since the last meeting uh it's been a busy couple weeks of meetings last thursday we had our red team meeting and then the development authority meeting and then in the afternoon i had a call with chris slater from the from the state journal mm. wanted to talk about uh what we how we do economic development in mon county versus the rest of the state. I can't speak for the rest of the state. I can only speak for mm -hmm. Mon County. So um, I think the article was supposed to come out this week. So um, Friday we had our staff reports and in the afternoon we had our broadband initiative meeting. Uh, this Monday uh, I had a call with Simon Dover, who's the uh, West Virginia University Athletic um, Assistant AD and Ron Justice regarding operations at the uh, Aquatic and Track Center. Um, 
yesterday I had a conference call with uh, legal counsel regarding the uh, uh, work we're doing on our uh, option to purchase the property at where our extension building sits. Um, in addition to that, we had a meeting with the uh, Broadband RFP Evaluation Committee to kind of set the ground rules for our technical RFP. And then last night I had the Montague County VFD Association meeting. And they read their minutes from their last meeting and it was really weird because they, it was all, it was a year ago. It was the last time they had an actual meeting. So they haven't even been meeting virtually. Uh, so it was kind of like blast of the past. They were talking about the upcoming demo to the Daybrook Tower. You know, it was just really weird. So I guess they hadn't met since. It's been a long time. So, um, but it was good to get out and meet with that. It was a nice socially distanced meeting. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was good that they're, they're starting to meet again. Um, today is a regular day. Uh, at the end of the day, I have my uh, Morgantown Area Partnership Board of Directors meeting. If it doesn't if uh, the budget hearings uh, allow. Tomorrow I have Milan Park Foundation Executive Board meeting, and then in the evening we have our MMPO right, meeting. Um, Friday's staff reports, budget hearings, uh, the initiation of the uh, broadband technical propo proposal reviews. Um, I have actually, uh, some of our staff started getting calls this week for COVID shots. So uh, well, they're finally doing the critical government infrastructure, and uh, I is one finally. I, I haven't been registered at Everbridge or W System because I wanted to wait until they started utilizing the list that we provided to them f with critical government infrastructure. So I actually got a call for my shot on Friday. So uh, and Carrie, I believe you your staff has been getting calls. Good. So they're finally at, they're finally getting to oh, no. the critical government infrastructure. That, so that's that's good. Uh, after I get my shot, I have a call with the Department of Transportation, Department of Highways. We're talking to talk about the Exit 155 uh, project and where it's at and how we can uh, get a timeline for when it's going to move forward. Monday, we have a meeting for, uh, we, if, if needed, any, bu any final budget hearings and then finalization of our budget. In general, I want to... Uh, thank everybody again for, that's working on the broadband RFP. We're gonna have a busy couple of weeks, gonna have a busy couple of months, but um, excited to actually start getting into the uh, nitty gritty of coming coming up with a uh, comprehensive plan. Um, and it's St. Patrick's Day, so Saint, happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. Do I have anything else? Nothing here. No. Move to adjourn. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, we're adjourned. <laughs>